Hi guys and welcome to this daily tower reading for Tuesday the 3rd of May 2022. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the herbal tower for today's reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about Tuesday and what energy is coming up for you. So I'm just going to shuffle these a couple of times. Then I'm going to choose three cards to see what Tuesday is all about. And I hope the week has got off to a really good start for you and that things are going your way. Let's see what Tuesday has to offer you. Have a look. First card is the Emperor. The Moon. And the Two of Swords. Okay, so the cards are really encouraging you. They're saying you're in a good spot at the moment. Don't be afraid, keep going, have hope for the future. Things are gonna turn out a lot better than you think or than that you assume they're gonna turn out. So the cards are just kind of uh, reassuring you and saying you are on the right track. Fear is a normal part of the process. Keep the faith, don't let yourself be discouraged or put off, things are gonna go your way. So that's kind of interesting because it, it, it says to me that there may be a little bit of a lull going on you know if you usually start to doubt yourself or become worried about something if you're anticipating it so it almost sounds like um things have slowed a little bit you're still on track but you're not seeing as much progress as you like and because you're not as busy that's where the doubt is now starting to creep in and you're starting to go oh well i thought this was going to be uh was going to happen much quicker or there'd be more people involved or whatever it is and that kind of sows these seeds of doubt, and it may prompt you to make a U-turn and go back to where you started instead of continuing on, which the cards are saying you're supposed to. So if things do um, slow a little bit, or if you're not making as much progress as you'd like, then just look at that for what it is. It doesn't mean that um, you have to start all over again. It just means that everything has its ebbs and flows and that there's a natural rhythm involved here. So the Emperor, that's the fourth card in the Major Arcana. And that says that you are in a position of authority because you're supposed to be there. You're seeing things clearly. Your higher self is speaking to you and supporting you. Um, you're looking at the big picture. The action that you're taking is right and it's safe for you to decide and to completely have faith in yourself. In terms of the herbs, and I'm deliberately not saying that because I have no idea. Um, where is the emperor? Here we go. Power of organization, protection, greatness of greatness and importance achieved, dominion. So this card is really the opposite of these two cards. So the push and pull is going to be I feel very certain about what I'm doing. I know I'm on the right track. Why am I so worried? And why aren't things shifting? And that can be a difficult spot to be in. And it says to me that if things aren't shifting and you have all the right information and you know exactly what you're doing, then you may want to change your focus. Because if nothing is happening anyway, then why keep exerting yourself and using all your energy? Instead, then, I would focus on self-care, the moon, using your intuition, getting creative. Um, the moon is also family, it's love, it's connection with other people and your higher self. So, of course, if, if things are ticking along nicely and you're going from strength to strength here and you feel like the pace is amazing, then do everything you can. But the cards are saying it's much more likely for um, things to become a bit more complicated and particularly for the pace to slow down quite significantly. So if that's the case, and if you're working towards something, then um, try and bring more things into your life that are personal to you and that bring you joy and that you, in, that you like doing. So going out in nature, spending time with family, loved ones. Here we've got all this water as well and we've got this woman being stationary and she's in this blue dress so um the bigger picture is accessible and available to you so if you're doing any spiritual work this is a great day to do it and to get total clarity if you're a creative type of person expressing yourself through music writing um using your imagination that's also very supported um 
fleshing out your message, like if you're writing something and you've got a speech prepared or you have to make a presentation, really going over that and perfecting it, that's going to be something that's easy. And then also the intuition and the sense of connection and love are also supported by these two cards. So it's interesting because usually I wouldn't think that these three combined would say, hey, use your sense of strength and conviction and confidence to improve your relationships or to get creative. But today it is saying that because it's kind of creating this conflict and it's telling me what isn't here. And the solution to self-doubt or fear or a, a lack of hope or feeling stuck is connection. So either connecting spiritually through meditative practice or connecting with other people and letting them love you and loving them in return, that's what's going to pick up the pace again and that's what's going to get things moving. Also, if you're not interested in spirituality or other people, then self-care and being nice to yourself and doing something that you enjoy. So next we do have the moon and that is lemon balm. I can say that one. Let's see what lemon balm is all about. Cool, reserved person, instinctual feelings, evolution. A cool, reserved person. Oh, I would, have, I would have not associated that with the moon. Okay, so if someone seems to be cool, calm and collected, and maybe even a bit detached, doesn't mean that they haven't got a lot going on internally. So I would say don't judge a book by its cover, especially with the blindfold being in the next card. Um, instinctual feelings and evolution. Okay, so by listening to your higher self, by listening to your gut, your psychic sense, that's what's going to help you grow and is going to get things moving again. Um, rather than trying to figure things out on an intellectual basis. Yeah, because both of these cards, I mean, we've got this sword here, uh, the, the major arcana aren't really associated with particular elements like air and water, but he does have this sword. We've got two swords here. So uh, I feel what's going to um, be less inspiring than it usually is, is getting analytical and looking at what it says in black and white and trying to figure things out on that level. I think what's much more helpful and is going to make you feel better is tapping into the emotional side of things and just saying, I'm going to go with the flow here. This feels good. This feels supportive. That's what I'm going to engage with, even if I don't totally understand it. I'm not going to get out the magnifying lens and go over the all the facts and figures in in this attempt to create meaning. So with this person and the, the little guidebook saying cool reserved person, I think there's someone in your life who finds it very difficult to reach out to you, but there's a lot between you. There's a lot of warmth and a lot of um, maybe even history, but it's an important relationship. So the message I'm getting is that someone may need your help and that if they aren't being overly articulate or telling you every detail, that it's important for you to go into that situation and just to think for yourself and to put yourself in the other person's shoes, what they may be going through, what would be nice if you could do something without being asked. And that then is very interesting because it gives you this in return. You know, like if, if a friend of yours is, um, let's say it's the anniversary of um, someone close to them um, passing away. And you remember this from two, three years ago, and you know that this is a difficult day, like maybe picking up the phone or even inviting them out for a lunch or something like that is going to solve your issue of feeling um, a lack of progress, possibly in work or analysis, and a desire to connect on an emotional level. But you're also solving the other uh, potential issue, which is someone who can't connect or someone who could use a helping hand, then receives it from you and is going to remember that gesture forever. I guarantee you, if you are thoughtful in that kind of way, and you reach out to someone without being prompted, people remember that. You'll be, you'll be put in the, in the, on the list of, these are my real friends. These are people who genuinely care about me. So you can strengthen a relationship, you can connect in your own meaningful way, and you can help someone else out in the process. Then finally, the Two of Swords, 
a lack of clarity, but a, a positive um, willingness to have faith and to hope. Two of Swords, silent equilibrium with outer and inner struggles. Okay, so I suppose being stoic about the whole thing. The point of balance leading to self-acceptance and inner peace. Acceptance of one's weaknesses and one's strengths. With one's strengths. So that's saying that by simply feeling your feelings and staying quiet and accepting that things aren't moving as quickly, that's actually an important activity in itself. To sit there and to just be, okay, what is going on for me right now? What do I feel in my body? How do I feel spiritually? That actually teaches you a lot about yourself. Wow, that's interesting. And then you can accept yourself as a whole. And you can unify. So weaknesses and strengths, and you can see the bigger picture. Self-acceptance around things that upset you and that generate peace. Okay, so there's a lot you can do for yourself through self-care and, and listening to your inner voice. That belief and acceptance will allow you to overcome fear and to accept a lack of progress. And that then makes you flexible enough. Swords is thinking and you can change gears and you can look at things which expand the uh, wellness aspect of the day and even overcome fears around relationships. Oh, that's interesting. So if, oh, so these two could be a couple who are no longer together and between them is they, they're no longer talking because there's so much negative history and fear and um, resentment and all that stuff. And if you have a relationship like that in your life that you want to amend or you want to transform it or get rid of some of this bad blood between the two of you, you even have the courage and the ability to connect with that type of person in order to fix a very challenging dynamic. Wow. So this is really an amazing day for all types of relationships because if that's a possibility, then connecting with someone you actually like or you're in love with is going to be a piece of cake. So I would say don't push it too much and focus on the things that do work for you and have a good time and let yourself be loved. Yeah. Number wise, we've got the moon, that's 18. And four is 22. And another two is um, 24. So all the twos are cooperation and relationships. So that's supported. Um, but 24 is six and six is a temporary opportunity to amend a relationship, to overcome some of your own fears, to change direction, and to uh, feel the love. So that's kind of interesting because relationships um, came up as a topic during the weekly horoscope. And this spread for today is saying that, um, yeah, your future relationships are starting to arrive in the present moment now. So pay attention to that. Keep your ears open or your intuition open. You don't need to be super aware because it's unlikely that you'll miss this kind of opportunity. You'll really feel it. So I hope you have an amazing day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.